No Film School's coverage of NAB 2019 is brought to you by SERP, simple portable motion control. Rode Microphones, the choice of today's creative generation. Black Magic Design, creating revolutionary solutions for film, post-production, and television. Hey, I'm Charles Hayne. I'm here at NAB Show 2019 with Charlie Collius. How's it going? Good, thanks for coming by. My pleasure. So we're here at Xylite yes. in, in Lighting Land, is I guess what we call the southeast corner of Central Hall. What am I looking at here? You are looking at our brand new Go Panel from Xylite. I need to light in a hurry and I need something bright and reliable, color accurate. This is it. It's a real nice thin panel we got going here. Um, all machined aluminum housing in the back. Uh, very simple to operate. On the back you have a knob, you press it and you will bring up your menu and it's always dimmable. Color temperature adjustable from 3200 up to 5600K. Another neat thing we have built into this is um, our active diffusion panel on the front. So if I, I'm going to turn this fixture off for a second and I'll spin it around. You can see we have a diffused panel. Yeah. But I can actually vary the diffusion on this light so I can make it a hard light or I can have it be a soft light. Push the menu button, I'll get over to my diffusion screen. And if I turn this knob, I'm varying that diffusion amount that comes right out of the front. So I'm going from a hard light to a soft light, basically just by turning a knob on the back here. It's great because if you're shooting talent and maybe they have some a few bags under the eyes or their skin, you know, it's all yeah. about adding that diffusion on top of it and making. Or product work where you want to take some of the hard edge off. Exactly, exactly. Another thing we're doing is that when you usually lay diffusion on top of a light, uh, you're shifting that color temperature slightly, usually a little bit warmer. With LEDs, I can now add a little bit of blue uh, LED to compensate for that. So when I select 5600K, I put a piece of diffusion on it. I am maintaining 5600K, it will not shift. Oh, so dynamically, you up the diffusion and the color temperature is gonna stay perfectly where it is. Yeah, it stays aligned, exactly. What technology is your variable diffusion? It is a piece of LCD material. That is cool, are you guys the only ones with this? Right now, we are, we are it. You have a four pin uh, jack right here for your AC adapter. You have two uh, uh, jacks right here for, for DMX. Okay, your gotcha. so you can daisy chain it into a series of DMX. Yes, if you'd like to use it in a small studio. You have a USB adapter here for firmware or software updates. You have a single uh, friction hinge here, which saves on having a yoke on the outside. It keeps it nice and portable. You have a Kino adapter here where I can slide in a battery mount, V mount or gold mount and it's also IP65 rated, so you can take it outside in the rain and the snow and not have to worry about it. Also has plus and minus green built in in the next menu, we never got to that. I can add plus and minus magenta green to the fixture. Really oh. tailor it to your lighting environment. So while I'm shooting in a supermarket, I have overhead fluorescence, they've got a green spike, I want to match this to them, Yes. and then time the green out in post, I can do that in the unit and not even bring out a gel. Yeah, you can do it right on the back of the fixture. How much? This is gonna retail $1,250 be shipping in August.